That's it. You're out of here. All right. I don't know if I'm live on a new stream or if I'm live on the old stream. I guess I'll find out in about two seconds time. Um, let's see what happens. Oh, is that the old stream? Or is this a new stream? The Ear of Pimpin. I see you. Yes, I can see you. Dean is gone. Are we on the same stream or new <laughs> new broadcast? I'm so confused. <laughs> it's new. Okay, that, that helps. So I could find that one. Jeez. My internet did not like me for that. Let me get over into it. Sorry. I should probably tell Green Bean and Madam Live. That's what happens when things go uh, off track. You're catching all the fun of live production with internet that uh, wants to kick you in the balls. I have texted them. Oh, I'm starting to get some internet back. Here we go. There we go. Sorry about that, boys. Oh, we're back. Dude, that, yeah, my internet just dropped. So I'm talking to myself. I'm like, man, no one's talking to me right now. I just went, <laughs> shut down. Yeah. Are we, is it quiet? Oh, sorry. Is it Hold live on? on uh... It's a so it's, it right is now. live on YouTube. It's a new stream though. Um, oh, it's so a I'm totally different to, stream. A totally different stream. Yeah, I guess it probably however long I had to reset my router. It like uh, just dropped everything and like everything got knocked out. But that's okay. I have the um, I have the super chats from the last one, so I can rattle off some of those. Uh, let's see. Okay, I so. Yeah, we'll we'll get some people back in here. Uh, yeah, I'm still dude. The the chat's still live. I'm still in there chatting with everybody, keeping everybody. I going. said we were. Just... I said we were live on my OnlyFans. <laughs> oh, nice. So, are you guys in the new one or the old one? I'm still in the old one. Just I'm in both. Sure. Are you? Let me, yeah, let me check. Green Bean, you want to send a link to the other one? Yeah. Okay, or awesome. Matt, I'll do that. Whichever one. Whoever, yeah, whoever Matt, if you're there, there already, you can do it. Yeah. Um, I'm still trying to get there. Oh, it just says live stream. Okay, this is 51 likes already. Not bad. It's a new link. You got it? Okay, nice. I'm copying the uh, title. I'm just going to say part two. <laughs> Now the Patriots take cornerback Marcus Jones. Interesting. Yeah, he was rated kind of. He this is like kind of where third, fourth. All right, one sixteen I picks, and we're up. I can put the link to it in our private chat. Here, I got it. Okay. Sorry. I just tweeted it out. There you go. Uh, let me see the thumbnail. I had the thumbnail in here before. Bam. All right. Well, we got 256 over here. There's 20 still over there. So that's everybody just bailed. That's all right. They'll come back in once they see it's going. Um, all right. I guess I'll just start rattling off some of these. Uh, so, Green Bean, how do you feel about Joe Klecko, and do you think he'll get in the Hall of Fame? I do think he's going to get in. Uh, number one, I love Joe Klecko. I remember watching him 
uh, live. I've been at games where Klecko has played and played well and uh, very, very exciting, man. Watching Klecko and Gastineau and Lions. And it was just what a what a fun era. I was a little kid and that was the Jets that got me in it. Now, they're actually changing some rules about the Hall of Fame soon and expanding the Legends class, right? Or the Legacy, whatever they call them. Um, so mm-hmm. more of those guys can get in instead of one each year. I think they're expanding it to more, like uh, maybe a few. Mm-hmm. Uh, so that would be fantastic. And once that happens, I think he's going to get in. Yeah, it is. It's a travesty that he's not in the Hall of Fame. I mean, it, it, it's all personal stuff. Like, and the dude, the truth is, even Gastineau. Like he has, he had the sack record for many years, decades. Mm -hmm. And it's like, he's just not in there. You know, it's they've, but that's because, and Klecko has said this, it's because of the winning, uh, the lack of winning culture for the team. They get overlooked because it's by sport writers and all that kind of shit. And they just, uh, they don't care. So I think that he will get in, he should get in and it's going to be a friggin' party when he does. Um, young stench dropped in a super chat. Uh, Charles, I'll get to yours in just a second. I had two from the previous stream that I wanted to get to young stench says, uh, the guys over at all sports culture declared the giants won the first round because of KT and Neil. For me, anyone that thinks this is out of their mind. What do you guys think? I don't think it's out of their mind. I just think it's hard to not pick the jets based on the three players. They got where they got them. Um, I can understand if you want to say the Giants had a great draft. I could see if people want to like say they had the best draft. I think it's all it's obviously all opinion based, but the Jets having three picks, it's hard not to take them. Um, but the Giants definitely had a good first round. Questionable yeah, second, they did. but good good first round. <laughs> and the thing with the Giants too, Ryan, is that they got two players who weren't supposed to be there, like. Yeah. Kayvon Thibodeau wasn't supposed to be there. They wanted an edge, and and the conversation was Jermaine Johnson, Karloftis to the Giants. So they ended up getting Kayvon Thibodeau, who could end up being the best edge in the class. Then Evan Neal was widely regarded as the first uh, tackle to be taken, period. And many had them had him going to the Jaguars or the Texans. And then, uh, you know, him and Icky had kind of – toggled back and forth so the fact that they got him on Mm. top of Kayvon Thibodeau I think that's that's the argument like not only the players but where they went they were both Mm. they could be argued that they were steals you know yeah for sure um Ron Weiss says these picks need to speed up my wife Cindy is z z z z z snoozing only how many? Uh, Fifteen picks to the Jets. Hell yeah! Yeah, fifteen to go. Malik Willis is gone. Ooh, where do you go? Eighty-six. Wow. Titans. Yeah, Titans. Interesting. Yeah. I like that. I don't hate. Yeah. That. Sit for a year and then take over for Tannehill. Charles Gorman says, "Ryan, how do I join you guys on screen?" Um, we sent out some links to some of the other Jet content creators. So that's those are the only guys that are hopping on with us. Uh, Jordan says, "What happens with Bryce Hall now? Love his game and don't want to see him wasted away on the bench." Also, what about Michael Carter too? Uh, Michael Carter too still going to stay in the slot, I think. Uh, and I think you're going to see a lot of Bryce Hall still. There's a lot of four wide receiver sets. There's also injuries. You need to be deep across the uh, the entire cornerback room. Matt, you got any uh, fear for what's going to happen to Bryce Hall? Um, I like Bryce Hall a lot. I don't think they're going to move on from him. I'm going to be sad if he's not a starter, but I, I'm assuming he's not going to be. But if he's your first guy coming in off the bench, that means you probably have a pretty good cornerback room. Mm-hmm. Greenbean, how are you feeling about Bryce Hall? I don't know, man. I think uh, I think let's keep our good players. Like, okay, you got Sauce and Reed, so probably want those guys to start. But what happens when somebody twists their ankle? Do you want, you know, uh, what's his name? Um, 
what the fuck's his name? The the undrafted free agent. Do you want Javelin Gidry going to the outside, or would you rather have Bryce Hall? And having those three guys out there, I mean, who knows? Maybe Bryce Hall's a nickel. Maybe they move him to safety. I don't know. I just think let's keep the talented players that we have. They're they're cheap. Now, if somebody's going to offer you a third round pick for him, okay. Mm -hmm. If you want to cons, um, but I'm I'm of the school of thought. Let's just keep our good players and and see what happens. We have been riddled with injuries. So, uh, there's, you know, you might want to err on the side of caution here. Kyle says, Mel Kuyper said the Jets got three players in his top 11. It is nice to see when other people had similar big boards to what a lot of us had. Because I don't think anyone thought Garrett Wilson was going to go lower than probably like 15, 16, somewhere in that realm. And Jermaine Johnson and Sauce were pretty much locks to be top 10. So definitely nice to see that. Hunter says, Mets no hitter. Yeah, it was combined. Go. It doesn't have the same feel. No, you got to have the same pitcher. Yeah. Uh, eh. Eh. Hot take. Hall beats out both to be starter. That would be fantastic. This isn't a it bad would. problem. No, I'd love it. I'd laugh. See, I, I wouldn't love it because you want to you wanna know that no matter how good anybody on your team is, in the event you use a top five pick, that they're better. It's an upgrade. There ain't nothing wrong with, you know, upgrading. So I didn't think we needed to upgrade, but we did. So I'm hoping, uh, I'm hoping, uh, what's his name? Sauce starts. You know what I mean? Hell Yeah. Ryan says, uh, let's go Mets. New York teams are killing it in the last 24 hours. John Rogers says, Pole, Leo Chanel, Tyndall, Brandon Smith, Beavers. You could do that. Hopefully I don't. Uh... Let's see. Create a pole. See, I'm going to put up this pole, and it's going to be not a linebacker. <laughs> We're going to go the complete opposite track. They're going to take another running back. Yeah, right out of left field. <laughs> what the hell? Uh, Buffalo Jets fan. Says, scary news for JD. Doctor's currently working on his right foot, severely injured due to an off-season of all gas, no break. Oh, boy. I love it. I love it. It's a good dad joke. That's a good one. <laughs> it's Cola it says, he struck him out, and the ball game is over. And the ball game is over. All right, so I've got the... Uh, the link pulled up. Let's see. For the call with Brees Hall. But up bump. Let's see. We're on the clock, man. We're trading yeah, up for you. Sure. I appreciate it, man. Thank you. You ready to run the rock? Yeah, for sure. <laughs> We're good? There we go. Brees! <laughs> What's up? What up, man? Oh, I'm shoot. I'm feeling great right now. Hey, I, I know it's been a long couple days, but uh, hey, congratulations. Yeah. Um, I appreciate it. We, we got an exciting thing going on here, man. You're, you're going to join a, a, a group of backs. And we have a hell of a group, and um, we're young, we're hungry, and uh, you're going to add an explosiveness to this team that uh, that we're going to we're going to love it, man. And uh, so I want to congratulate you. Uh, be excited, celebrate this moment. I'm going to pass you on to our GM, Joe Douglas, man. Breeze, Breeze. What's up, Joe Douglas, man? How you doing, dude? We got another weapon, dude. I, I'm wait, sure. listen. We are so fired up to add you to this team. So fired up to add you to this team. Everyone's excited. The draft room's going crazy, dude. We've uh, we're so excited. But I want to pass you over to our owner, Woody Johnson. I got you. All right, Breeze. Congrats, man. Enjoy this with your family. Thank you. Hey, Breeze. What's up? Uh, what's up is you're coming here. We are so happy. Do you, I don't know if you heard the uh, celebration here. Yeah. We are so happy to have you, Brees, and you're going to love it here. Oh, that's cool. Cool. Yeah, it's it's genuine. It's It feels really good when you see the draft room erupt and you feel like they got their guy and it, like, yeah. 
it just it's nice and especially when the guy's like a captain and you know he's a good player it's just it just adds all these different levels to it it's great it's great it is you know what you know what on that note what really makes me happy uh, is the relationship between Robert Sala and Joe Douglas. We've come mm -hmm. from three straight groups of coaches and GMs that did not like each other, right? Rex and Idzik, they didn't really work well together. Then we had Todd Bowles hired before McCagnan. McCagnan wouldn't let Bowles' as coaches talk to his scouts. Then we fire him and bring Adam Gase in. Adam Gase hated McCagnan so much, he walked out of the draft. Like, that's where we're coming from. Now you see Sala and Joe Douglas hugging. They're lockstep. And uh, if you saw the uh, the their, their press conference post-draft, uh, post the first round, they started and Sala just said, I love this guy or this guy's the Joe's the best or something like mm -hmm. that. That's how we started. And that's the, that's the difference, man. There is a cohesive aspect of what we're doing. They actually like each other. They respect each other. They're working well together. They're on the same page and they have a plan. And that is not what we've been rooting for over the past 10 years. It's been tumultuous. You know, we're hoping something good popped out of it, but this is different, man. And I love it. You're absolutely right. And that it's it's just amazing to watch what feels like a genuine friendship. Like they're working together and they're combining their their, you know, separate talents and everything, but they genuinely seem like there's a, there's a a mutual interest and in like it I, I don't know, it's maybe not a mutual interest. That's probably a bad way to say it, but it's it just feels very genuine. It doesn't feel forced. Like if like Rex and Idzik was forced. Bowles and McCagnan like I couldn't see them going out and grabbing a beer together. Like I could see no. Salah and Douglas like, you know, Hey, let's go grab a pint. Yeah. They seem like yeah. they have a pulse. <laughs> a pulse. Yeah, I, guess, <laughs> I guess Adam Gase was not a very <laughs> pulse. -y, unless no. he was doing the salts. Ugh. I mean, think about that, that organization, like having a general manager that doesn't allow your co the coaches to talk to the scouts. How are you supposed to get a bead on what the coaches need? You know what I mean? It's a like, weird, yeah, it's a it's weird, weird dynamic. It, in in thought, it's you know, it sounds good. Like, okay, let <laughs> the scouts scout. I get that. But then in practice, like, you need guys that the coaches like. Like, you need to say, yeah. like, hey, here's here's a bunch of guys. Look yep. at this, and then you know, let's let's combine. I think what Joe Douglas did, they sent everyone out to do their own scouting. And then they all came back with all their notes and they're like, Hey, this is what we like. And like, that seems like it makes way more fucking sense than, uh, than anything we were doing. Uh, Buffalo yeah. jet fan drops and says right on green bean, the combination of shrewd business acumen and raw football football bravado of the jets brass is so exciting. Right. Buffalo right on bro. Dude. It feels like they just know what they're doing. Like there's a plan they've laid it out. They're like, okay, this is how we get from a to B. And there's going to be a few things in between, but this is like, you know, this is how we get there. It's not like a, like a scatter shot. Yeah. Uh, somebody, uh, Nick S put in the chat, Brees Hall just turned 20 in May. That's how young he is. Wow. He's hey, really, young. holy smokes. I got to double check that. Let me make sure. No wonder they wanted the fifth year option. He's so young. No, May hasn't yeah. happened yet. He's going to turn 22 next month. No, no, no. No, he's 20 years old. So he's, you know, he turned. He's going to turn May, 21. So he's going to turn gonna 21. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it hasn't happened yet. That was like, that's, that's like. No, no, I was like, wait a second. Exactly, exactly. I think it sounds yeah, off here. Weird, yeah, it's funny. Because <laughs> uh, I don't know what the fuck month it is anymore. So that's a whole, I'm a, you know, I'm a whole different weird. I live in a weird cosmic uh, mistake type life. I don't know what's happening. So I got fooled. But but it's still the fact that he's 20 years old and he'll be, he'll be 21 <laughs> in the beginning of next season. Still pretty damn young. Uh, Brandon says closest uh -huh. the bills will get to winning a Super Bowl is Kyle Brandt claiming their Super Bowl champs. Ooh. AZ says, what, uh, are we about to trade back more for picks? Maybe. I don't know. I, I think we're going to make the pick. Yeah. It's been a long, long time. time. Yeah. yeah if if we time. didn't have, like, I could have seen trading down from 38 because, we had just made three first round picks. So yep. 
Yep, me too. I definitely didn't and see it, a trade up. <laughs> so, so who knows? No, I didn't. Well, you know what? This seems like the year, like like we've been talking about, like Joe Douglas has been moving and shaking, acquiring assets, and it seems like this is the year. And a lot of us support this. Matt said it numerous times. It's time to use your picks and bring on some studs. It's time. Yeah. Mm -hmm. JB Jet says you guys are 100% spot on. Our calls to our picks are hyped up. They use words such as family and nicknames, energy, energy, energy. I watched the Giants calls today, dire and boring in comparison. I feel like that's sort of how, like, I don't want to say that's how Giant fans are, but I've been to Giant games, and it could have just been the game I was at, but I've been to a Giant game before, and the fans are just so different. It's like they... You know, Tiki Barber ripped off like a 15 yard run and there was like a golf clap going. And like <laughs> Curtis Martin runs for five yards. And like Jeff fans are going bananas. <laughs> it's absolutely yeah. banana land in the stadium. Like it's it's Ooh. just such a weird dynamic or I don't know. I guess just because I've I'm partial to the not partial, I'm all in on the Jets. And we're the blue there. collar guys. That's all. That's we're, what it is. Lunch, it's like they're lunch we're pale a rowdier work. group. Yeah. Lunch pale, right. Giants like are fancy, right, D? The Giants are the fancy pants. We're the blue-collar team in New York. That's what we are. Uh, oh, Dylan Parham just went to the Raiders. Good good guard. I like him. Yeah, I thought he'd go earlier than this, to be honest yep. with you. Yeah, me too. Oh, man. Brandon says, who will they take from the Senior Bowl? Do we think this next pick is going to be a Senior Bowl pick? What? Do you think this <laughs> next pick is going to be a senior bowl pick? Ooh, it could be. It could be. I really do think that this is where we grab a linebacker or a safety, though. I I just do. Like, I, I think this is. has to be. Yeah, I really would love Leo Chanel. The fact that he's still here. I mean, I just, I feel like he's going to go a few picks before us. I would love to get got? him. We got, what, like eight picks? One, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine. So we're 10 picks away. Yeah. yeah, that's a long time. Where's he on the big board? Let's see if it flashes back up. They haven't showed it in a little bit. Uh, V-Man says, we have to thank Darrell LaMonica for throwing a softball pass in the 1968 AFL title game that clinched the Jets the Super Bowl berth. I remember it well. Yeah, same. <laughs> he knows Sorry. more about the Jets stuff like pre 1980 than I think. Yeah, it's wild. How old is Vinny? I feel like I gotta be older than him. I think he's in his 20s. Okay, I was gonna say I'm 32, and like <clears throat> the dude just knows so much more <laughs> about Jets history than I do. I'm That's like, I, I'm like 97 to now. That's like. That's my Jets knowledge base. I want to announce to the chat, it's very, very important that we get all the likes back that we lost on the previous stream. Oh, yeah. Yes. Yeah, if you don't you got, like the video, you're dead to yeah, me. It, it's, <laughs> it's eight, there's 865 <laughs> people in here. We only have 218 likes. Let's see if we can actually get every single person watching this stream to hit that like button. It's not hard to do. It's not hard to do. Just click it and it's done. Let's see if we can do it. Oh, it just went up over a hundred. Oh, we got a go. dislike. Someone doesn't there you like go, guys. <laughs> Every now, whenever we do that, there's dislike. always that, there's always one or two. Yeah, I saw the dislike pop up, but we went up like a hundred. I just and that was there. reminded. Uh, I was reminded about that by Sean O'Brien. No, thank you, Sean. Thanks for reminding. Oh, there's me. another one. <laughs> another dislike. Who's Sorry, dislike? Dislike. That's ah, those fucking Patriot bastards. I think That's it's JB it Jets. JB Jets just <laughs> hit this like, didn't you? It's Adam Gase. <laughs> it's Adam Gase. Yeah, well, I want to say something. And uh, Jerome Strax was in there talking about it. I want to just make this comment. And, and it's his comment. I think it's about time that we thank Adam Gase for getting us Joe. D I mean, it's real. You know what I mean? Without Adam Gase, the worst coach we've ever had, None of this happens. J Jamal Adams is still here. Sam Darnold yep. is still here. 
We're still hoping that uh, Chris Herndon becomes what we thought he was in t- three weeks of a rookie season. You know what I mean? Like, that's where we are. Le'Veon Bell's still here. So, dude, there's like, you, if you want, you can keep going down the spider web, right? Or like the, 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 uh, the rabbit hole. Because then you, you could say like, oh, if the Jets didn't pick Hackenberg, then there's no reason to draft or they, they would have drafted Mahomes or Watson. They probably here. So there is no Jamal. And then you don't trade up the three second round picks. And then like things like totally change. But it's you know, are yeah. those quarterbacks gonna be the same here without all the same infrastructure that was over there? No, definitely not Mahomes. I think Watson Ooh. was good enough out of the box. Mahomes needed that year. He needed Andy Reid. Like he had a lot of rough around the edges uh aspects to him. Very boomer busty. Deshaun Watson, I couldn't believe that we didn't just take Deshaun. I couldn't believe it. I was like, yeah. I cannot. We just took a safety. We need a quarterback. Yeah. I couldn't believe it. But, uh, yeah. Uh, right, man? Like, we would still have all those second-round picks. Like, it's just mm-hmm. craziness. Who Domino would we have effect. used number six? Yeah. yeah and we had the six effect. overall. Who would we have used the six overall on? It would have been Quentin Nelson. Because Buffalo would have traded up with indianapolis and then we would have had a second round pick for the the dk draft yeah but think about this i think you they think would have gone mike dk McCagden, you think mike mccagden would have ever taken a guard in the first round he, he only took two offensive linemen if, in if, five years i think if we had our quarterback i think that was the home run pick that was like the top dog i feel like i think he would have done it i, I think that part of it was we didn't have good offensive linemen available to us at certain times. But the other part was he's a bad scout and he did not have the ones in the second and the third and the fourth round that you could pick up. Like he was yeah. only going for first round. Like Sheriff was taken ahead of us. Like I think we would have taken Sheriff had he fell into us. I don't think we would have taken Leonard Williams. We just kind of got screwed on like where we picked almost. I think. Dude, Mike McCagnon was so lost. You know, it's a funny thing because I really did blame Todd Bowles for a lot of that, even though like now learning uh, that Bowles wasn't even allowed to have too much of an opinion on the players. The players Mm -hmm. that we got, the Darren Lees, two safeties in the first deck, that looked to me like Bowles all day. Like it looked like it had... Defensive coordinator. Yeah, it looked like that, but... To find the, the year we fired Bowles and Mac had that that draft without Bowles, I was pumping it up so much. I was trying mm-hmm. to convince the whole world, you're gonna see this is Mike McCagnon's first draft without fucking Bowles and blah. And it was the worst one of them all. Mm-hmm. I couldn't believe how bad it was. I sat I sat there for three days completely dejected with my poor <laughs> son. I was like, that was like his first draft watching it with me. He's like <laughs> what are they doing? I'm like, I, I, I don't know. I don't know, Shibanshu buddy. Shibanshu says, Salah's passion feels genuine. Rex's felt forced. Rex's mm. felt genuine for like probably three or four years. And then what do you have? Five, did he do five or six years with us? Six. Who? Rex. Nine, I feel ten, like the last. Six. Yeah. Nine, 10, 11, 12. 14. Yeah. 13, 14. Yeah, six. The last two felt a little more forced. But I think that was because of Idzik more than um, anything else. Because like I, so I feel bad. like Rex had passion. Like I can't, I can never knock Rex for like he wore his heart on his sleeve, and and yeah. sometimes to his detriment. But I, I yeah. really loved Rex. Whoa, he should have never had player acquisition powers never yeah he should not have been on the personnel side that was the perfect coach just to let him coach yep here's the players if you had a good gm with him like if you had douglas with him that would be a really good fucking oh it would have been great it would have been great really oh man that was it's just we you know it's so bad i see braylon edwards popping up a lot more this week for like around the jets like he's kind of talking yeah. to jet fans on twitter that makes I me like happy that was, a lot oh i love him tell. dude he was one of my favorite when we got him i was so excited because i that was the first draft i watched was with him and cadillac williams and uh ronnie brown like mm-hmm. that was just a really fun year to watch and like 
I just kind of that was sort of where my draft love came from. So he was he was always a favorite of mine. Oh, Bray Bray was so good, dude. That was my favorite trade. Oh, well, no, Chris Jenkins. Dougie. Chris Jenkins was my favorite uh, Tannenbaum trade. But when he got Braylon Edwards, I and I was actually talking about it like a week before that with somebody. Oh, wouldn't yeah. it be great if we got Braylon Edwards? And we got him. I couldn't believe it was real that we got him. He was so good. Yeah. So good. I, I felt I was so mad when they let him walk and they signed Santana. Yeah. I thought Me it too. was such a bad move. Like mm -hmm. I liked, I liked the trade for Santonio, but I didn't like the extension. And then yeah. we flirted with Peyton Manning, and we offered Mark an extension after that. Yeah, yeah that was from oh. there. Then we traded for Tebow, and we brought in Plack to go. It was such a mess, dude. We took a great thing. All you had to do was keep that together and just yep. add yep. your picks. That's all you needed to do. Yep. But no, they blew it up. Yeah, they let like, Jericho Cotchery walk for the corpse yep. of Derek Mason. Yeah, yep, but Jericho Cotchery asked to leave. He didn't want. He didn't like the way the J. He said, "I want out of here." Yeah, I think that was that was after the 2011. I think that was after Santonio had that no, fight that was in two, Miami. No, was, no, 2011 off season. They yeah. he was here. Was, they he, didn't we miss the playoffs in the last week of the season that year? And like, no, that was the Santonio year before. Holmes, he wasn't on was that. The, Cotchery wasn't on that team. Oh, in right. 2011. Yeah, and we were eight and eight that year. I I was at that game where San that was my son's first Jets game where Santonio Holmes got into the fight in the in the in the huddle. That was my Awful. son's first game ever. Yeah, <laughs> down in Miami. Awful. That's why it's so. Look, we waited a you know ten eleven years for this man, and we finally we don't know what's going to happen, right? We don't know, but at least at the bare minimum. What we're doing makes sense. We have an organization that at least knows, you know, what to do. Like, say, like, like even guys like us, like what we would do out there. Like, no, we need, we need a wide receivers. We need the offensive line. Like mm -hmm. Mike, Mike McCagden, Idzik, they didn't even know that. They had no idea how to do it. We've waited so long, guys. We really have. Gator... I love you, guys. <laughs> I love you. You, got, you guys are great. Uh, yeah. Four premium picks, four impact starters from day one. All we can really ask for, A plus so far. I don't know uh, about you, but I'm underwhelmed by New England and Buffalo so far. Jet up, definitely New England. Um, I don't even. Who did Buffalo get in the first round? Did they? No, take a um, it was a corner, I think. Right? Yeah. Um, Elam. 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 Yeah, Kyrie Elam. 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 Yeah. Oh, I don't mind that one. Corral. And I don't. And I like James Cook, so I, I don't. I don't think Buffalo. Oh, the Panthers! This is who I had them taken, but in the first round. Wow. <laughs> yeah, I think it's say say goodbye to Sam. He's about to be beat by a third round quarterback. I like yeah. Matt Corral. So do I. Uh, Daniel H has loved the content from all you guys. After this draft, if we go into the season healthy, I'm expecting. Uh, I'm expecting to double our win total from last year. Can't wait for the home opener, J-E-T-S. Yeah, dude, I think, so we, what did we win? Two games two years ago. Got four games this year. We're going to get eight games next year. I can totally see that. I can, like, this team, I felt, could have won more games last year if you had Carl Lawson, Vinny Curry, LaMarcus Joyner, Makai Becton. Like, those guys alone would have increased at least a game or two. I agree. So then adding all this talent, yeah, I can see it. It's just a harder schedule. Um, Ron Weiss says, guys, are we not thinking tight end anymore? I don't particularly want to go tight end. Uh, not yet. If you want to go a little bit later, I'm okay with it. Dofu, Dofu, uh, says with the hundred... And first pick, the New York Jets select Jeremy Ruckert. If so, do you guys agree? Let's address linebacker and safety elsewhere. Greetings from Norway, 4.56 a.m. Hey. Oh, my God. Really early, dude. Norway, doofle. Or dayoful? Dayoful. 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 I like that. Welcome, buddy. Welcome from Norway. Yeah. Dude, we love 5 o'clock in the morning, that is dedication, my friend, and I love it. It is. 
It really is. Jeremy Ruckert. I if we take him, I'm gonna be really excited. It's Tindall. not where yeah. I, th- I I would like to go linebacker first, but uh if we take him, you know, in our next what are we, one oh seven next? Well I don't know. Think, all right, what positions do we think are realistic here? So definitely linebackers in play, safeties in play, maybe offensive yep. line is in play. I I guess tight end is in play. I think they'll wait. If they grab a tight end with one of their picks, I think they're going to wait. After the trades, we lost two picks, right? What do you guys think? Yeah, I think tight end is going to wait a little bit. I I don't think this is the tight end pick. I would say linebacker. Safety would be – safety and O-liner is probably tied for second. I could see them going tackle. I could see it. Or a center Mm. maybe. A center, right? Lindstrom. He's yeah, there. Yeah, maybe. I have I don't know. There's they could go a bunch of different ways. I think the value is still oh. a linebacker. There's still a few guys left, right? Yeah, there's these guys flying off the board who have no idea who they are over. Yeah, right. Like good Zachary. Let Carter. them go. I don't know. Defensive tackle out of oh. Florida. Yeah, I didn't do anything on him. He's small. Let's talk Rez for a defense. Says, he must uh, be a pass rusher. First At heartbreak Florida. was in 04, playoff loss to the Steelers. What about you? Oh, yep, that was a painful it. one. Yeah, that would be yeah, the one. Was. That one hurt. I remember where I was with that game. I was at the armory in the city. I was running a track meet, and we all we had a radio, like a like a FM radio that we were listening to the game on, and like all the Jet fans in the building were around, like like hundreds of kids were like in this like part of this the stadium and you hear Santana Santana eh, Santana Moss return that punt punt kick return punt and then what did we miss three field goals was that what it was Doug Bryan it was at least two it might have been it was three. at least two I think it was three I think it was one, one at, at the end of regulation and two in overtime. one in, there's def- one in overtime uh, two one in overtime definitely one, one at the one. end of regulation not, that was awful. That was my first heartbreak for that Jets yeah. team. Dude, we had that game. That's what sucked. That was a good team. It's a really good team. Uh, oh, we're getting Rogers. close. Yeah, we're getting close. Uh, John Rogers says, running backs killed our linebackers with quarterback dump-offs last year. Running backs killed our linebackers with dump offs. Yeah, yep, so we need true. a fast oh, yeah. we linebacker. Couldn't, we couldn't cover shit, right? Now I think I think they think like Jamie and Sherwood was a solid personal project. Memory said this guy belongs and all that kind of stuff. So we lost him. Maybe that would have turned around, you know, at getting to see him evolve throughout the year, like we ah, did with the cornerback. Nick Cross. Uh, Nick Cross is good. Yeah. yeah, but I, I'm telling you, man, I want Sterling Weatherford. That's who I want. Or Jalen Petrie went. Did Jalen Petrie yeah. go? What about Verone McKinney? I like Verone McKinney. I also like Leon O'Neal, and I like uh, JT uh, JT Woods. There's a couple good safeties. I mean, you know, of course, not not like you know Daxton Hill, Hamilton, and some of those guys, but uh, a lot of guys that we could really use here, man. Nick Cross was in that was on that list. I'm just hoping for uh I would love it if they come up with Leo Chanel, Channing Tindall, Brandon Smith, um, you know, or Sterling Weatherford. I'm gonna be really happy, man. Really happy. Those are those are my guys. Shavanchi says Shavanchi. Green Bean, tell us more about how bad Mac was. Worst GM recent times. If he didn't draft Hack, he wouldn't have drafted Mitch the next year. F McCagnan. Who's Mitch? I don't know who Mitch is. He it's would have drafted Mitch. Oh, Mitch. Oh, Trubisky. he would have drafted Mitch Trubisky oh, right. instead. Yeah, he would have been right. like, bad enough to like wind up with that, right? Oh man, yeah, that would have sucked. Well, he was gone, thankfully. Yeah. Well, he went, yeah, too. Oh, right? that's right. Up. That's but who right. Who knows? Maybe we would have been worse. Maybe we would have traded up then, and tried to out. Bid the, the Rams or whoever. I mean, sorry, the Bears the, the with Bears the Chiefs. and the 49ers. Oh, that's exactly how that would have played out. 
Gunjo says, we are in the same area where the GMs better have done their homework. Oh, sorry, where the better GMs have done their homework. Who do you think are the hidden gems? Tyndall's definitely one that we've been talking about. Is he gone? No. Is he still there? Not, as of, not yet. Um, I don't know. Hidden gems. That's tough. There's guys that we liked that we thought would go earlier. I think that's that's probably where we're at at this point. Matt, is there a guy you uh, is Tyndall the the guy you want? Uh, I would say Tyndall or Leo Chanel, those two. Yeah, I think as long as we get one of those two, I would love it, man. I'd be just happy. Yeah, I, I really don't want to rely on our linebackers right now. I'd like to groom someone right. underneath CJ. I think that that's a really cool opportunity to have because we were talking about it where we're, we're forcing our starters or forcing our draft picks to start and you don't ideally want to do that. Uh, Mike Parlato says, got a feeling Isaiah likely will be ours at either 101, 111, or 117. I look, the coaster. Yeah. That would be nice. It opened. I know, but they did like a soft launch. You know what I mean? Nice. Yeah, the new Guardians of the Galaxy coaster technically opened uh, at uh, Epcot. New roller coaster. Ooh. Oh, yeah? Yeah. We're That's pretty excited. cool. And we're really excited about it. We're nerds for coasters. <laughs> did they, I didn't even know. Them. Where did they build the Marvel stuff? Like what part? Well, Disney? Disney yeah. didn't build uh, too much Marvel stuff. Uh, m m they have, uh, well, Guardians of the Galaxy. What else did they do for Marvel with Disney? Not much, ride-wise. Yeah. Universal, Universal yeah. has the other Marvel, you know, like the comic book Marvel, like Spider-Man and the X-Men and all that sort of stuff. But yeah. Disney has the movie Marvel. But they haven't done, I can't think, I just the Guardians of the Galaxy, I think. They also changed the um, Disney California Adventure. They have the Tower of Terror out there like they do at, in, yeah. in uh, Hollywood Studios. They changed that to a Guardians of the Galaxy theme as well. Mm, I gotcha. Uh, MC22 says, Ruckert, book it. HMNI Kadoza says, I want Ruckert 101, Joseph 111, and Sailor 117. Yeah, Sawyer. Yeah, right. Sawyer. He'd be I, I don't good. know who that is. That'd, what position? That'd be a great uh, tackle. He'd be a great pipeline guy. Oh, nice. I do like the idea of going later with tackle because it kind of shows Joe Ooh. Douglas's like smarts on the position. Kirby Joseph, damn it. He was one of the guys on our list. Yeah, that ah. was one of them. <laughs> wow, Barry Sanders really let himself go. Yep, Kirby Joseph is a good one. <laughs> that was funny. That was funny to me. What did what you, you say? I didn't even hear him. Barry Sanders really let himself go. Oh, yeah. <laughs> when he walked out, I was like, oh, who's that? And then it's like, who's Barry that fat Sanders. Guy? I'm like, oh, like, my oh, God. Oh. Oh, he's old. You know, he's allowed. That he's was allowed. really funny. Uh, Brian Scantleberry says, first heartbreak was 98 playoff loss to the Broncos. The whole stadium was chanting, J-E-T-S, suck, suck, suck. I was there. Oh, man, that sucks. Oh, I wasn't in person for that game. I got to go to the Jaguars game before that. That was really cool. That was probably one of my favorite games I've ever been to. Because you got to see the confetti cannons going off. and That was uh, few and far between. Um, MN says, O-line depth. O-line, 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 O-line. Josh says, just want to say that you guys are doing a freaking awesome job. Great to see you guys collaborating with other Jets channels. And Ryan, hang in there. I'm tired. Yeah, right on, Josh. We're getting there. Long you know what's cool? Day. Tomorrow we have 111 and 117 right away, though. So that's good. Yeah, and, and that's we it. To, yeah. And we have fucking four round, three rounds of dookie. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what do we do? We'll probably get Nothing. all those content. We'll get Asmin on. We'll get Blewett on. We'll get, uh, what do we got? We got John from NYJ today. Oh, wow, yeah. There he goes. Yep. Brian Robinson Jr. to the Commanders at 98. Really? Yeah, I mean, to the Washington team is going to have the nickname the Commies, right? Isn't that going to yeah. happen yeah, organically? They, oh, my God. Did they not see and this? And they're coming? red. 
they're oh they're, they're red, red too yeah. like, yeah, they're, and, <laughs> like yeah. what are you doing Josh says right? Disney like, can't use any you... Marvel properties Universal uses. Marvel sold Universal theme park rights in the '90s. Messy legal situation. Oh, interesting. That that would be right. Weird. That would make sense. The more you know. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> the reptile guy says, "Why is Jamar Sayer not getting any attention? Very versatile. Played every position on the offensive line. He may coming up soon. Uh, guys, we're gonna step away real quick for a." Quick break. New Jersey golfers, did you know the Northeast's biggest golf resort is in New Jersey? Manicured perfection awaits at Crystal Springs Resort with six spectacular courses, including New Jersey's number one rated Bally Owen. Plus, stay a little longer and enjoy two resort hotels, two luxury spas, nine unique dining venues, and the famous wine cellar of Restaurant Latour. Easy to get to with the best rate guaranteed and never any booking fees when you book direct at crystalgolfresort.com. All right. I just saw it. What's that? Uh, somebody just put in the chat that the Browns are grabbing David Bell. I don't know if that happened. I see them, the pick is in, but David Bell's yeah. a receiver I like. I think he's going to be much better than people give him credit for. And, yeah, uh, he had a bad, uh, he had a, like, horrible 40 time, but he was great in school. Yeah. Yep. Mm -hmm. I know. People Purdue, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. They overvalue that stuff. It's important if you factor it in, but, like, look what happened to Traylon Burks with our fan base. He went from the guy at 10 to off the board because of a 40 time yeah that's true yeah but it's also I, I i don't know if it was just the 40 time like i think it was probably the whole ras score and just how joe douglas had performed to that point like yeah but taking, look at, taking a receiver at number 10 like as the number one guy like you can have everyone else because like alave performed really well garrett wilson performed really well garrett wilson had a low it. ras score didn't he Six. He did, but you got to see like his that. like speed. You got to see like three. What was it? A four three seven or a four three eight? And then Alave was yeah. like a four three nine. Like those guys really helped their stock. I think. Think that's about more what, so what it was. Think about what we're talking about with forty times. You go from four three nine to four five five. That is two tenths. Two tenths of a second. How does that apply? You know what I mean? It's when everyone's really fast. That is a lot of time. Yeah, but you have. But I think the change of direction is more important because how often are you running yes. forty yards in a straight line? Like, that's true. Agreed. Shuttle times are more important. I that's think it's right. nice. Yeah, it's I, cool. It's like it's a bragging right. It's a dick measuring competition. That's, that's all it is. Yeah. That's what I'm yep. saying. Like it's not like not to factor it in. But and look, guys, lots of guys play fast on the field and they just don't have that track thing. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's like when a guy's chasing them, they're motivated. They fucking turn on the afterburners and they take off. And uh, but then they get on the forty, you know, track and they suck. They don't know how to do that. Here That's, come the Cardinals. Yeah, and look, dude, we are up next. We're coming. Right. We Who's this going to be? Uh, hi, don't or sorry. Leo I'm Chanel. most happy about the draft at this point than I can ever remember being. I love, love, love how they are taking the bull by the horns and trading up for what they want. Thanks, guys, for all you do. You rock. Thanks, Sean. Right on, Mike. I really like... Right uh, yeah, buddy. Oh, did I say John? Nope, no. Nope. John's the next one. Sorry. <laughs> Thanks, Mike. I really like okay. your logo, too. All yeah, right. He's gonna, right, too. Yeah. He's right. Taking the bull by the horns. Uh, John says, which is worse, commanders or guardians? Commanders. Uh, I think commanders. Yeah, commanders. guardians is... I don't think there's anything bad with guardians that... I mean, it's not, like, a great name, but, like, commanders is just, like, the commies being read is... It's just funny. Yeah, it's just... How does how does their vetting process... How does nobody go bring that up and say, guys, this is low-hanging fruit here? That's you know just what I mean? It. It's, it's how removed where... they are from the world. Yeah. It's how removed. There's yeah. so many other... I'm sure you could have gone with, like, any number... <laughs> <laughs> friggin uh names yeah. they had like didn't they have a list of like six or nine yeah let me tell you guardians isn't my favorite in the world or anything like that but it is light years better than the commies trust me oh yeah you know what i mean well, yeah for sure the jets are on the clock everybody oh, man. the new york jets are on the clock i want oh, leo no. chanel Leo Chanel, Sterling Weatherford, Channing Tindall, right. Brandon so Smith. So Majai Sanders goes just ahead of us. 
Yeah, my Jai Sanders. I like saying my Jai. It's not right. Don't look at the chat. No chat. Yeah, we I hit it. I hit the chat. The I'm, I'm oh, I'm my, hiding the chat. The Goodbye, guy. Off. The pick is in already? Yeah. They've shot. been waiting for fucking four hours, Matt. They're like, yeah, we know who we want. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we've, we've, we've had our list. We've checked it twice. Let's end this one. The New York Jets are on the clock. The pick is in. I am psyched. I want Leo yeah, Chanel. I'd be happy with the one. too. In. Let's see what it is. That's who I want. 5G ultra wideband is in many more cities, like at Izzy's Interior Design Shop, where Izzy makes every room work. Pro tip: Are they gonna like show it us it? Just like yeah. That Pumping it's wireless 5G business internet to Izzy's design. Yeah, pull this down. No messy wires. Oh, oh, I, thought it. I thought. Okay. okay. Well, that's well, why I wasn't sure because, like, once you start getting into like the later rounds, they start to like just kind of rattling names off. I got the bottom. They'll announce it. Everybody's screaming on the TV for some reason. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this is a commercial. Yeah. Everybody's just screaming. <laughs> Let's see where we go. We think it's linebacker. I Better think it is, or it's going to be safety. I'm I'm fairly confident that Should it's going to be one of those positions. One of those linebacker positions. Linebacker or safety would either one of those positions would be good. Right. Oh, or Jeremy Dunder. Rucker because he's from Long Island. Oh, that would, yeah, no, right. that would be cool too. Yeah, if you could get, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I want a fan favorite. That, that I think that's where I'm at. Let I got my four play. starters. Like, get me guys that can get me excited. Right. You know what though? I do think that if Jelani Woods was still here, I think we would grab a tight end here. I do uh, well, think. I think, that I is... think they could go Rucker. I think that's. But we're also we also have a pick not too far from now, so I I don't yeah. know. I yeah, feel like the linebacker yeah. should be a little more pressing. Yeah, we have another pick in nine or ten picks, and then we have another one in six picks after that. Mm -hmm. It's our time to shine. But that's tomorrow. <laughs> oh, that's tomorrow, tomorrow anyway. We come on live at 11 a.m. 11 a.m., everybody. Eat 11 your bacon and eggs, and let's go. Like out. I'm going to have a big breakfast tomorrow. I haven't even eaten today. No, no, I had some. Can you get me some salami? Maybe a, give me salami and a cheese stick. He's running on Monster and Jewel Pots. That's it. He's <laughs> all jacked up on nicotine and caffeine. Yeah, and coffee and nicotine. <laughs> all right. Come on, just show us the Are they coming out there? No. No, I haven't seen anything yet. So right now, the chat's, uh, they the chat's probably back. laughing at him. Sorry. They got to know. They're just they're just talking. They're showing like highlights of the players that were uh, picked already. Like Desmond Ritter was already. Uh... <clears throat> and then was that Malik Willis? I can't find any tsunami and I'm cold. I totally missed like the whole behind the scenes with him. What's going on here? That's uh, I don't know who that is. I can't tell. Fine. It's taking a while. Come it on. really is. Come on, this is baloney. The they're point. showing the stage. They're showing the stage. All right, they're walking a kid out. Oh, it's a kid doing it. All right. Come on. New York, New Jersey, we in the building. Let's go. With the 101 pick in the 2020 2022 draft, the New York, the New Jersey Jets select. Oh my god! Guys being a real douche nozzle calling us the well, Jersey the Jets. But we yeah. get Rucker. Let's go. I know this guy the Jersey Jets. Oh, that's cool. Yo, come on, that's crazy. I really like that. Me too. I love it. I really do. That's cool. I wanted a linebacker, but dude, how do you not love Jeremy Rucker um, coming forward? That's my tight end too. Also. Yeah. Oh, I love yeah. it. Like you said, Ryan, give us a feel good pick. You know yeah, what I mean? Like, I, I want one that moment. I want to like really root hard for. And this guy's got a ton of upside too. Like that's what's so cool about this. 
Like, it's not even just like a he's a hometown Jet fan. It's like the kid's actually good. And he blocks. He'll stick his nose in there. Dude. I'm happy. And he gets to learn, too. He doesn't have to be thrown out there right away. Like, you can let this kid sit for a year, year and a half, two years. I love it. Oh, you guys in the chat, you got to stop complaining, man. We're going to be a 12 and 22 personnel team. That's, you know, that's what we're going to be running out there. Two oh, tight end. <laughs> I'm looking over there now. They're not too happy, I guess. No, they're miserable. That's Jeff fans, though. They Screw are. Them. Joe Douglas has not led us astray oh, yet with this draft. <laughs> so, like, I can't I, – I have. I find it hard to uh, get too much of a gripe with him there. Yeah, I mean, I think it's – I mean, I think it's perfect where he went. Like, this is right where Jeremy Ruckard should go. And I think it's a little early for us to take a tight end. But if they look at him as better than the Fergusons and whoever's left, you know, Isaiah Likely, then I can bring him on. They want their tight ends. Mike LaFleur wants to run two, three tight end sets. Go ahead, do it. And now he's got depth. We got Kenny Aboa, Jeremy Ruckert, Conklin, and Uzoma. Trayvon West goes gone. Uh, Daniel Brown is gone. Uh, obviously, Griffin is gone. And Croft are gone. So get him out of here. Mumtaz says, Perry on Winfrey and Leo Chanel, both still there. Yep. Um, Lawrence says, what about the super punter, Matt? As he oh, Ariaza? that sucks. Dolphins? Uh, ah, yeah. yeah, that does suck. Yeah, that, that sucks. Does suck. Yeah, I mean, look, I made it very clear. I wanted a linebacker there. But let's not forget, we have another pick in nine picks. It's going to be a long time till we get there. It's tomorrow. But uh, I want Leo Chanel, if possible. Brandon Smith is still there. It's quite a few uh, linebackers. Let me get uh, Yeah, Channing Tindall was I the Dom C him. favorite. And we just missed on him. What? That's they us. want their that guys. Works. Hey, man, they're developing their offense. Let them do it. Let them do it. You know, I'm happy that we got Jeremy Ruckard again, a little earlier than I would have wanted, but I'm happy we got him. I like it. Yeah. Let me see. Yeah. I like it. I think you, you're not going to get me upset with adding weapons for job or for uh, Zach Wilson, like hundred yeah. percent. I'm going to be behind that every time. Montez says with Perry on Jeffrey and Leo Chanel up there, we get a luxury pick Sherwood and Hamsa. Better be really good. Otherwise, this is real BS and get run over. <laughs> Mumtaz is not happy. Wait, let me see. What is he saying? Uh, Sherwood and Hum said, better be really good. Otherwise, it's real BS. Yeah, well, hey, they seem to think they are. They used two draft picks on linebackers last year. I still think they're bringing one in. Again, we have a pick in nine picks. So if they yeah. thought Rucker was going to go and, and one of their guys is going to oh, be that there. that also is smart. not good what is it oh now i'm pissed chanel to the now chiefs oh, god man. damn it now i'm pissed guys i'm with you Boo! Boo! <laughs> that was the pick right there right there that was the pick now, why are they so is that going to be one that jet fans are going to be saying like are they going to be bitter yep. That's the one that got away. Leo Chanel or Channing Tindall. I would have been really happy. But we still got Brandon Smith out there. Look at these guys. Is the door open or something? Why am I getting attacked by huge? Jersey Joe says, literally part. posted at noon how I wanted running back two and tight end three to fill out the offense. And bam, Zach is set up to succeed. Time to make the jump. JB Jet says, that's a shoe-in pick. Charlie Gardner says, love the stream, guys. What a draft by our Jets. Getting the best wide receiver, running back, and corner in the draft in Joe D. We trust. Yeah, dude, that's just it. Like, you have to trust his judgment on this stuff because he has been spot on all last two days, day and a half. Although, I'll admit, these, <laughs> these last two picks did not go as we... Uh, no, that's like right on the heels of it. 
Right, Ryan? <laughs> right on the heels. They couldn't have waited till tomorrow when it was like, oh, people had time to uh, think about it. It's like, no, it yeah. was like two seconds after. I can't believe it. That sucks. I'm bummed. I am. I'm a little bummed, man. To be there at 103 or 102, whatever it was, you know. Yeah, I don't yeah, yeah. It's close. HMNI Kadoza says, if you told me the Jets would leave with Sauce Wilson, JJ Brees, and Rucker, oh my God, this is hardcore Jets fan dream. Yeah. It's, Let's keep it yeah. all in perspective. Like, that's a good way to look at it. <laughs> don't necessarily look at, like, the players we didn't get. Look at the ones we got. Yeah, totally. They wanted Jeremy Rucker. They loved him. Mumtaz says, I know who they are after Darian Beavers. I think he was a senior bowl guy. I hope we definitely get that guy or Perion Jeffrey MVP of the senior bowl. I would like Beavers. I'd rather Brandon Smith, I think, but I wouldn't be unhappy with Beavers. I didn't realize he was going to fall this far. Brandon Smith. I thought he was going to. Yeah. I mean, look, I mean, we're still in the third though. You know what I mean? Um, yeah, I guess, you know, it's a lot longer. (laughs) Yes, it does. <laughs> Saw any film on Tyson Anderson killed the combine? I do not know. I have not watched him. My safety yeah. knowledge did not go deeper than the second round this year. Well, look at this too. The most important person on our team is Zach Wilson. Do you think he's happy with this draft? <laughs> Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. You surround right, your like, young kid with a ton of young talent. I just tweeted, but like Jeff fans were so mad for years that they never did enough for Sam Darnold. And now they're doing a ton for Zach Wilson. Like, that's the way that I want to look at it is there is no excuse for Zach. You have the offensive line. You have a ton of weapons at wide receiver, tight end and running back. Go freaking score points and, com- and compete in the NFL in 2022. Right. It definitely feels like they're they're loading up. Like they're going to get this year to kind of grow and figure it out together. And then I think you're going to see towards the middle part of the season, it's all going to start clicking just like the offensive line did last year. Same thing. Wild Billy boy says, we finally have something we haven't had in a while depth. I love it. Go jets. Michael says, guys, relax. We did perfect yesterday. Y'all stressing too much. This round is not nearly as important. Let's celebrate what we got. It's Cola says, green bean, cheer up and take a fat rip of your jewel. <laughs> <laughs> I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm a little bummed about one player. I'm fucking fine. I like Rucker. You know what I mean? Yeah. No, turn I'm that, turn that, turn that, that toward the chat, my friend. Look at this chat. Yeah, this, the decomposed. chat lit up before. Chat, chat was they very upset. Up. Now we're getting like a mixed message. Though. Now it seems like they're uh, a little happier with it. Uh, Vito says, some people in this chat make me embarrassed to be Jet fans. All they do is bitch and moan, trust the process, and go root for another, or go root for another team. I'm tired of the negativity. Finally have a real GM making moves. Everyone relax. Yeah, right. Trust in Joe Douglas. Trust in Joe Douglas. Let's go. We got two more picks. That's it. Two more. What are our last picks? Crazy. Crazy. Safety, linebacker. We need offensive line. Yeah, I still want to get a tackle somewhere. I'm not opposed. I'm not sure where to go now, though. <laughs> like, do they trade down after people have looked at picks here? Like, is that, like, where they kind of think? Or do we want the the higher-end picks to be our last picks? I don't know. Nicholas says, now that we know Dean is hurt and we've had time to digest the pick, I feel better about Brees' pick. Get Quan and Tyron, uh, and we, good. I like Ruckert a lot. Yeah, you can get some guys in the uh, in free agency afterwards. I wouldn't mind Tyron. Yeah. Either. The only thing with that is, like, the end of our draft is not the end of the draft. So there's three full rounds after us or oh, two and a half no yeah three and a half rounds mm-hmm. after us so a lot of those guys that we you know we have to wait a long time till the undrafted free agency but hey man maybe we trade some players for some picks who knows we still got very valuable greg van roten 
He's floating around. Dom C <laughs> says, now we pivot to Perry on Winfrey. Maybe. I could see them do that. DJ Bomb says, I know we still need safety and linebacker, but we are seriously getting upset. Ab- <laughs> but are we seriously getting upset about helping Zach Wilson? Love the pick so far. That's what it's got to come down to. People are upset about opportunity, I think. Because I think anyone who's upset is saying maybe you could have gotten Rucker a pick later and gotten your linebacker. But Joe Douglas knows way more than us. <laughs> like, yeah. trust the process. Cadoza says Wilson, Ruckert, Berrios, Feeney at Islanders game for the next five years. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Freaking men. I'll be at UBS with them shotgun and beers. Nice. <laughs> Huh. I did love those like videos of Mangold and Fitz and like all those guys going out and then seeing Zach come out this past like winter. John says Ruckert is more than just a great tight end culture pick. Yeah, there's definitely a common theme amongst all of Joe Douglas's picks. They're all captains, they're all like high character guys. Iowa Jets fan says, lots of linebackers left. Smith, Beavers, Mike Rose. Yeah, Sanborn's still there. I mean, there's quite a few guys that I I still like. Again, it's just disappointing. Like, every year we find our favorites, right? Like, we have these players that would be so great to get. And it's just crazy that he made it all the way down there. We didn't take him, and he was the next pick. It's just crazy. I mean... (laughs) That's it's a very Jets thing to have happen. I feel it like. is right. It's everything's for us is geared toward maximum pain. You know what I mean? So that's just what it is. <laughs> They're just like let's get them. Uh, yeah. Buffalo Jet fan says it'll be nice that Fant and Mackay can play left tackle. Multiple injuries away from a backup protecting the blind side. Yeah, it's nice those two play left tackle, and then AVT was also a left tackle at USC. So I think in a pinch you could throw him out there too. So we have a little bit of flexibility but i think they would still use mcdermott before that if it ever got to that point uh mumtaz says i want to feel good but kc is not dumb leo lost mumtaz is not happy right now well kc does this every year too like they do great in the mid to late rounds yeah that's what they do every year so this yeah it's a good pick man I think maybe the Jets, I mean, look, like we said, you know, maybe they love their linebackers. They have no intention of taking linebackers. Maybe we wanted a linebacker, but maybe they they want to run it back with their linebackers. Yeah. Who knows? Maybe they go, you know, defensive tackle next. And who I knows what D they're going to do. I could see O-line could. and D-tackle. Those are like, I could see safety. I could see linebacker. I have no idea. This This draft has been like totally... I shouldn't say out of left field because I guess I, we knew the Johnson pick. Everything else was kind of like a surprise, <laughs> like when they traded up to get Johnson. Although the trade up was the surprise. It was. It's not that we're upset. It's that the value, uh, it's the value Leo was as the Jets situation report. Yeah, no, I agree. It was, but you can't get everybody. They probably felt the exact same way about Rucker, and the big greens yeah. in there reminding us that Chris Sims had Rucker as the this year's top tight end. Yeah, right. I I oh, thought he could be a top fifty pick. Yeah. yeah, I thought he could have been inside the uh, the top two rounds. Josh says we honestly can't complain at all. JD is a wizard. Hell yeah. Yeah. You know, look, Ron. you're allowed to be upset about you not getting your the one guy you like. That's fine. But let's remember, like you said before, Ryan, let's focus on what we do have. Like we this is a slam dunk draft. And Ruckert was one of our favorites in all the mock drafts for a long time. Oh, yeah. like, oh dude, I right? you told you me we'd told come away with him at any point in this draft. I'd be pretty yeah. happy. Right. So we got him. We're good. Ron Weiss says they're going to want to go playoff games. Let's go Rangers. Oh, we got a little Rangers Islanders action in the Super Chats. <laughs> they're, they're a city team. They might as well be with the white collar New York Giants. Yeah. <laughs> JB I'll give you Jets the Devils, up. even. Ooh. Because they're basically a New Jersey team. 
Yeah. The Jets. Yeah. As long as it's not the Rangers. <laughs> I could uh, I could watch any hockey game, but I would consider myself a Rangers fan because I have other friends that are Rangers fans. There you go. That's yeah. So I'm a bad person. <laughs> I kid. Uh, JB Jets says, I think they're comfortable with safety for the uh, for next year. After Whitehead signing and Joyner healthy, linebacker at the next pick, 111, safety next year, boys. It's Cola says, look at Jets' Twitter. Makes me happy about the pick. Ooh, what happened? They, ha- they post something about Ruckert? We got Duke Manyweather on the screen. Mumtaz says, I prayed for Ruckert too, but when but then we signed two expensive tight ends already. Now two fourth round picks. If we can get Perion, Jeffrey, and Darian Beavers, we good. Wow. <laughs> Cadoza says, with Woods gone, Ruckert was a no brainer. So here's I'm gonna make a prediction for tomorrow real quick too. I want to just throw this out there now while I'm while I'm emotional. Uh, we're gonna <laughs> we're gonna grab Sterling Weatherford and Alec Lindstrom. That's what we're doing tomorrow. Watch it. I I definitely or, feel like we've wanted a center. Yeah. Like, or we might grab uh, West. The other center. I like him too. I might. They might like Donovan him more. West, the is that yep. the Arizona kid? Yep. I can see that. Dan says, I have a good feeling Rucker is a Jet fan from Long Island. Imagine having talent and playing for your team that you rooted for growing up. Chris Sims, number one tight end. Dude, dream come true, isn't it? That's so cool. And Think to get about, drafted. Like, yeah. it's not just being signed by your, like, childhood team in free agency or something like that. Like, they picked you. They were probably sweating bullets right. trying to get this kid. Right. Oh, I love it. It's great. That's it every kid so from happy. Long Island. Come on. Yeah. You can't yeah. not like that. It's beautiful. Jets and Y one oh two says Joe Douglas greater than Dumbledore. And then Fat Gandalf comes in and says, Guys, I will take JD's real draft <laughs> over any of the mocks we did over the last six months. Yeah, absolutely. Not any of them. We had some good ones, but I'm with no, you. Fat no Gandalf. way, dude. None of them had all three of our first round picks falling that far. Maybe oh, like man, very had... early in the draft process. I had Jermaine Johnson in the second round initially, and then I had I... him all the way up at 10 or four. Hey, we've had mocks where I got all that plus an additional first uh, <laughs> and then three firsts for next year. Come on. <laughs> Let's be real. <laughs> Famous right, Jay. No, 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 no. I'm saying that's that you're right. You've had better drafts. <laughs> Famous Jay says, uh, no real Jet fan can complain about this draft. A plus plus. Yeah, yeah no, it's a great be draft. Upset with... It's a great draft. I like this one. Jeremy says, I... Jeremy Ruckert is the new Wayne Corbett. Right. I hope so. Very... Wayne's my guy. Yeah, fan fave. Why not? Fan favorite. Kid from the local area. <sighs> Ryan Schwinger says, Ruckert, Instagram, green suit. Girlfriend, green nails. They knew. I love it. That makes me smile. Stop. I got to look it up now. That's a feel-good story pick. I'm I'm about it. Yeah. Yeah. Good. I'm with it too, man. Yeah, and we can get Brandon Smith tomorrow. Maybe we maybe we trade back and get five more picks. Like, you know, at the end of every PFN draft, they offer you this weird trade where they give you some team wants to give you the last four or five picks in their draft. Yeah. That's what we're going to do. Just give up our picks to get like a bunch of sixth and seventh rounders. Right. Yeah, totally. Let's do it. Go no, we're it. going quality. We're going quality this draft, man. It's it's actually it's 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 different, right? We're not used to this, but I like it. You know, he does have green nails on, and he's got a green suit. Garrett Wilson already commented the jet emoji on the picture, too. Love that. Oh, Wait, I what did, are you guys talking I about? I did see that. On uh, Jeremy Rucker's uh, Instagram. 
Garrett Wilson commented the the Jets like, like I don't the, know, emoji. The emoji. Oh, there you go. That's really cool. I think our team's gonna be so close together. Like it's gonna be a really close knit group of guys. What's up, hashtag? What's Yo. up, my favorite green machine? <laughs> Nob says, I'm notorious for complaining about what the Jets do, and I've loved how this draft was planned out so far. Adjusting to a GM with a plan is hard. That's all right. The initial reaction is the initial reaction. It's always good to think and digest. Jets, Mets, Rangers, killing it these days, finally. Taps any button, says stop expecting every hole to be filled. Trust Joe Douglas. Steve says shut the fuck up <laughs> with what yeah. makes someone a real fan. Let them be. That was aggressive. Mumtaz says, beat reporters don't ask good questions. Otherwise, at least some should ask about being last in run defense and not getting inside linebackers or de-tackle. Ruckert story rocks. So what do you think our final picks are tomorrow? So how many is it? Three? Two. Two. Yeah, and they're Safety real quick, too. That. Yep. I'm going to say... I like say... the idea of center. I think a center would be good. I don't think they I don't like McGovern. Agree. I really don't think they like him. Or maybe not don't like... Don't like him is maybe a little strong, but I think would have liked to have upgraded. And I don't know if maybe these guys are not considered upgrades and they're going to wait. Or if they really didn't like... I don't know. There's something about him, like, kind of slinking along after Zach got hit that kind of rubbed me the wrong way. Yeah. Um, you know what? I think Perion Winfrey is very much in play, unless he just went and I wasn't paying attention at the end, which is entirely possible. No. <laughs> um, <laughs> I don't think he did, though. No. No, I haven't, I haven't seen the name pop up, but it would not shock me. It is nice to have incredible depth across this team. Well, think about what the tight end room was last year. It was Ryan Griffin, Tyler Croft, and Daniel Brown. Now it turns into Jeremy Ruckert, TJ, uh, TJ, no, Uzama. CJ Uzama, and Con <laughs> Tyler Conklin. I'm all, the T's and C's are all jumbled in my head. You've been, been on stream night. for like seven hours. <laughs> it's been a long, long day. That's amazing. They're showing highlights of Sam Darnold running around. Now they got Daniel Jones. You think Daniel Jones is done after this year? Depends on like what he does. Giants, or you think he's? Uh, you think he winds up putting it together? <laughs> it depends on what happens this year. I think if he plays really well, they'll franchise tag him. But if he struggles, then I think they'll just draft his next guy. Can't see you anyway. They were definitely just showing Matt Corral, and I was thinking it was Daniel Jones. That's how tired I am right now. <laughs> I'm looking at the highlights, and I'm not reading the words on the screen. Mike drops in on the Super Chat, says, Fellas, love the show. I think we had an amazing draft. What are the chances of drafting Troy Anderson? Zero. He already went. Yeah, he, that's a zero, Mike. Zero percent chance. Yeah, he was... Unless... Maybe <laughs> an Eli Manning-like trade? Yeah, maybe. Yeah, like, I don't want to be here. <laughs> I still can't believe that happened. Wacky set of circumstances. Mumtaz says, we'll bet money on trade back Trader Joe Rocks. It wouldn't shock me to see him do that. But at the same time, if he's happy with the depth we have, why not just select two guys that are higher up on your board? Like we've had a lot of picks. Like go for go for the quality. 
I don't care what it is. Maybe a sandwich. Oh, wait, I gotta I send this. Feel... What? I gotta send this to you, Ryan. They have uh, Jeremy Ruckert's reaction from home when he was drafted. Oh hell yeah! Ron Weiss says even a backup can win with this offense. That's gonna make me smile. Don't cry. Don't cry. Don't cry. Don't cry. Don't cry. <laughs> Don't you cry tonight. I can't wait to see this. I'm so excited. Like, this is, like... <sighs> the best part is we only have to wait two months. Like three months. No, they're going to have a mini camp. The rookie mini camp's, right. like, next week, isn't it? All right, here we go. Screen share. Ready? Oh, you know what I'm going to go for? Yeah, let's... No, just go ahead. Salami and cheese or something. I don't, I don't know what to say. Green bean. Your salami and cheese can wait. Watch. All right, let's do it. <laughs> Las Vegas, what's good, Vegas? Yes, sir. New York, New Jersey, we in the building. Let's go. This was an awful call, by the way. Oh, yeah. With the 101, making a 2020-2022 drive the to New, York, the New Jersey Jets select <laughs> Jeremy Record. Oh, that's so cool. Bunch of Jets that's fans. Awesome. Look at them. Yeah, we're already wearing get we're already wearing get awesome. shirt. Look yeah. how happy his dad looks. Oh, he's gonna be so <laughs> this is like one of those oh, I love that. <laughs> That's that. awesome. That is awesome. You're gonna make me cry. Oh dude, it's so good. That was That's fantastic. Awesome. That's so cool. I'm right back. I got to use the little girl's room. <laughs> Bronx kid says, guys, Marquise Bell, safety from HBCU school FAMU, is very good. He impressed at the combine. Jets should give him a shot. I have no idea who that is. Yeah, I'm gonna have I, to do I, some. I, I got to do my research after this round. Same. Because well, I'm gonna do my video, react, sleep yeah, yeah. for a little bit, study, and then, and then come on the screen. Up. Yeah, this is always the hardest stretch right here because you you go oh, through yeah. such a you, you had such a long day yesterday. You edit till like the wee hours in the morning, then you jump on stream again, and then it starts earlier tomorrow. <laughs> so it's like you got to be ready to go by like eleven. Woof. Darrell Revis drops in, says, checking out, fellas, Joe D has had one hell of a draft. Only player we could have snagged was Dean, but can't be mad at Brees. Looking back at it, probably the right call. Thanks for the motivation, fellas. Thanks for hanging with us. We'll see you tomorrow. Um, yeah, dude. The Brees Hall signing and the Jeremy Ruckert signing and the Garrett Wilson signing are so exciting like our offense at all three levels just got so much better <laughs> like so much better from where it was yep dallas says you guys taught me a lot about the draft since last year thank you guys enjoyed these last two drafts keep up the good content thank you awesome it is much appreciated What's up, Teen Bean? How you doing over there? Pretty good. I'm in the most comfortable seat. I've been <laughs> like standing for the last 30 minutes. What do you think about the Ruckert pick? Ruckert, Happy I was actually uh I, I thought that was gonna happen. I was like I was either uh Leo Chanel or Ruckert, and I honestly wanted Ruckert like other than Leo Chanel because we got CJ Mosley, we got Quincy Williams, you know, I actually really like him. I think he can do a lot of a lot of good things, and <laughs> I, I I I really like the Jeremy Ruckert pick. I, don't, I feel like he can be good in this system, you know. I love that he loves the block too. Yeah, like he's not he doesn't strike me as a guy that's going to command the football all the time, but he's going to be a guy that's going to help out every aspect of the team. Like Sauce yeah. is the same way. Sauce isn't afraid to like step up and run support. I feel like. You know Garrett Wilson coming from the same same offense. That's pretty cool. 
like automatic yeah. chemistry between the two of them. That's that's a good point. I didn't even think of that until that just, that literally just, just yeah. I did. I forgot they both went to Ohio State. <laughs> what did they say? <laughs> Wait, uh, I forgot about that. Ohio State. Holy shit. Uh, Jeremy Record and uh, oh, Garrett Wilson. Wilson. Yeah, right. I forgot, I forgot the name. That. <laughs> look at look at us Jet content creators figuring shit out for the first time. Yeah, I'm a content creator. I guess. Wow, that's really a good point. Yeah, didn't. <laughs> It just sort of popped in there. Ron Weiss says, first jersey I get, baby, Ruckert. That would be cool. That would be a fun jersey to have. I'm not buying any new jerseys until they're here for like two years. <laughs> that's, yeah, that's what I said. I was like, I'm going to wait a year. I was like, I want to see. I want to know, like, these guys are – I want I want to hit on someone. I don't, I don't want to hit on someone. I want someone to hit so I can get their jersey. Um, Stanley says, this is a great draft. That is two in a row since the Jets power structure was changed with the GM having real GM power. This is the reason JD received a six year contract. That's right. I really like Joe Douglas. Joe Douglas is the best thing that happened to this team. Although to green beans point, Adam Gase is sort of the best thing to happen to this team because we got, <laughs> or we got Douglas because of him. Right. God, who knows if, if how long? Two years of pain and like suffering of Adam Gase to go on it. a miraculous run of competence is, would be wonderful. Dude, imagine so this. It's longer than I guess it was just the two years of Gase, but imagine Robert Sala actually ends up being like a John Harbaugh good coach. Imagine that. <sighs> And you have a coach for like 15 years. Right. That's what I'm saying. And you're building yeah. an entire culture. Oh, <laughs> I just want it. It feels like it's going in the right direction. I just want everything to work out. The Colts were a laughing stock before Peyton Manning came. The Patriots were a laughing stock before Bill Belichick and Tom Brady. It happens all the time. The Seattle Seahawks, listen, man. Yeah, the Aints when they were the Aints. Play- Right, the Aints. When the Seattle Seahawks made it to the Super Bowl, that was a really bad year for me. Like That was the year I was homeless and everything, and I didn't pay attention to the NFL that year. And when I got clean in rehab, my buddy told me that the Seattle Seahawks were in the Super Bowl. This is the first one, Holmgren. And I was like, I laughed. I was like, get out of here. I thought it was the stupidest thing I ever heard. He's like, no, dude, Seattle. I'm like, Seattle? Like, they were the worst. So it happens, man. It happens. Just got to hit and on the right players. And this, right. we you have the it. young core. Like, that's what's exciting. Like, there's a young core on defense and there's a young core on offense. Like, on the defensive side of the ball, like, you're still looking at Quinnen. You're looking at Lawson. Lawson's, what, 27 years old? Yep. So, young guys. Whitehead, DJ. It's a young unit. And then you add the Sauce and friggin' Johnson. Wild. Ha- hashtag sports said, look at Green Bean slamming his salami. <laughs> <laughs> I was fucking house in that. My son made me dinner just now. Oh, my God. I It's like weird. You don't realize you're hungry until you eat something. I'm like, oh, my God, I'm starving. You know what I mean? I'm, just I'm literally starving. This. Yeah, I'm going to kill this. I want 10 of these. <laughs> <laughs> the funniest thing uh, is was- Gator Needs a Gat says, now we know for sure that JD doesn't value linebacker and safety that highly. Will bet from or will benefit from pass rush and stacked corner room. Best player available, bring in the studs. Yeah, that's an interesting point because we were talking all off season about how there was. We're curious to see how Joe Douglas handles the safety position because he's traded away Jamal Adams. He offered twenty percent less to Marcus May, let him walk, drafted Ashton Davis in the third round, and then really only spent money on. Joiner until this year with Whitehead. So like, I mean, Whitehead's deal wasn't cheap though, wasn't he? Like an eight million dollar contract. Uh, let me look. I don't remember. I think it was. I think he was a little bit. Like, he, he invested in it. It's not like you're not talking fifteen million, but maybe they're. I don't know. Two years, fourteen and a half. Okay, so seven. Um, 
Rye says, Ruckert was such a good pick. We needed a solid pass-blocking O-lineman, uh, and we got him. Yeah, he could almost be like that inline blocker, right? Sure. Right? Use him as a receiver, but still stick his nose in there. Hashtag saying. He says, Brandon Bean does that. He takes the most athletic freak at the position of need and boom. Yeah, they did that with Tremaine Edmonds and Allen. Oliver. Yeah, you kind of go with freaks. Douglas did that with yeah. Becton and Mims. But I wonder if, That's how true. much do you think of the Becton and Mims draft was like not being able to see players and like just going high RAS score? Uh... Interesting point. Never really thought of that, but yeah. Like, do you think there was any impact from that, or do you think it was maybe a miscommunication? Not miscommunication, but like a Gase Douglas thing, or Some just, of a, it could. just a just a bad draft? Just or I shouldn't say a bad draft, but just a like, eh. Like the last two drafts felt like wow. Yeah, true. Sure. You're right. Hashtag thinks Mims is going to get traded. I don't well. think hash, I don't think hashtag saw the tweet from Mims to I mean uh, oh Mims I thought I was thinking Beckton to Samini. Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah that was great. Like, Epic. That was fantastic. I really I can't wait to like watch Beckton just ragdoll people and everyone's yeah. gonna shut up once he starts throwing dudes around next year they're all gonna shut up and then it'll be all better. Yep, he's, he's gonna, gonna do it and then look in the crowd and go like this. Oh, yeah. What's up? <laughs> it's going to be great. He'll yeah. have, like, some lead block for Brees Hall and Michael Carter. They'll lateral it to each other, and then they'll throw it to Elijah Moore, who will then throw it to Garrett Wilson, and then score a touchdown. Let's amazing. get nuts. <laughs> it'd, be, it'd be one. I'm sold. What's going on? This third round's over? Is it over? Daniel yeah, for, yeah, for a long time. Wow. <laughs> for a long time. <laughs> glad, glad, glad we were having that conversation. Uh, I'm sitting here. I'm like, wow, this is this pick is taking a while. Yeah. All right. We've been done, dude. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. So All how right. are we feeling about our picks? We get Brees Hall running back after a trade up with the New York Giants. And then we get hometown favorite. Jeremy Ruckert, how are we feeling, Green Bean? I feel good, man. Like, it's like, look, we all have our own ideas of what we want when we go in and all that. But the one thing I take out of this is that the Jets are committed to what they want to do, which is they want this offense to be able to be everything that Mike LaFleur wants it to be. 12 personnel, 22 personnel. They want Zach Wilson to, like Matt said earlier, have zero excuses. They don't want it. They want the team to be well-stocked with the talent that they need at the positions they want. They went in today. They grabbed the best running back in the entire draft. And then the on some people's boards, the number one tight end. It's a feel-good story. The whole family are Jets fans. They're wearing Jets shirts before they even – he they knew he was getting picked by us. Um, so, I mean, and he's a very talented player. Like, we all liked him as a player, aside from being – a Jets fan. So I think it's like, would I have preferred a linebacker there and then waited on tight end? Yeah, I think I would have, but it's okay. Like, look at what they're doing. I'm very happy that they're just committing to what their, their plan is and driving it home, man. And coupled with yesterday's draft, I'm really happy. I really am. Matt, how are you feeling about today's picks? <clears throat> yeah, kind of the same thing. I was surprised that this was the direction that they decided to go but it's hard for me to be mad at it because as Greenbean said so perfectly, they're trying to do everything in their power to make sure that Zach Wilson is their guy and leave no stone unturned and make it so that it's like, ah, oh, well, you know, they had X, Y, and Z excuse. No, BS. Yeah. That's out the window now at this point. And think about like what they really want to do on offense. Greenbean started to 
you know, talk about it, but I think we go even a little bit more in depth at their core. We saw earlier last year, they tried to run a lot of 12 personnel. They had Ryan Griffin and Tyler Croft that did not last very long. Now they're right. going to try to do that with three tight ends who are capable at this level. They are going to run a ton of play action, which we know worked well with in San Francisco. We know Zach Wilson did that at BYU a ton. They're trying to build this team through their vision, and I think we're starting to finally see that with these draft picks. Yeah, you look at the the types of players they're bringing in. It's culture fits. It's guys that are captains. It's guys that are football guys. They're not, you know, it just it, it feels like a culture swing. From the last few years, everything that we've gone through, this is all starting to stack on top of each other, and you're really starting to see guys. Like, whenever I see Michael Carter and Elijah Moore go out or – Zach Wilson is thrown with his receivers. It just feels like it's not a job. Like they're there because they want to be there. And it's it's a nice feeling to see as Jet fans and to see Brees Hall and to see Jeremy Rucker come in. You're just supporting your young quarterback. You're not giving him any excuse to fail. Sam Darnold, Geno Smith, Mark Sanchez. We took away all their weapons. They had no one to work with. You're getting rid of that whole excuse I'm looking forward to this. I think we're in the right direction. I'm curious to see where we go because I think, I, or at least I thought they were really interested in center uh, throughout the free agency period and the lead up to the draft with the Zion Johnson stuff at the, at the Senior Bowl and interviewing Tyler Linderbaum. So I'm curious to see if they go that way, if they go linebacker. <laughs> and Joey Trust, I could, he could go any different way. I, until he steers us wrong, <laughs> I'm, ride, I'm riding the whole time. So, Amen. guys, uh, we're going to be back 11 o'clock tomorrow with bags under our eyes. <laughs> Exhausted. And a lot of coffee. A lot of coffee. Yeah, it's been boy. Fun. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with us tonight. We'll see oh, you wait. back here tomorrow. Whoop. What? We got the winner's thing. Oh, the winner's thing. You want to save thing. it for tomorrow? No, do it, in, do it we'll... now. Actually, you know what? Hold on. Before we go, we got one more thing, and then we're going to do the winner's thing. Oh, I know. Actually, what you're no, doing I'll that. do that at the end. We'll do, we'll do it at the end. We'll okay, do the winner's okay. thing now, and then we'll close with that. All right. All right. I got 11 guys. 11 guys. Here we go. Three, two, one. That's six, seven. Odds? Oh, odds. Okay. Now you have to scratch those off, remember. I got it. I, I'm with you now. <laughs> I'm rocking today. Okay, good. We're on the page today. Here we go. Holy shit. We did three rounds yesterday, and I was I was I didn't even I was like mm. <laughs> <You> just forgot. <laughs> <laughs> All right. We still got Astrals off the chain, Stud City, Ed Stewart, Frank C and BTS Dance Studio. You're all still in it. All right. Ooh, here we go. Three, two, one. Four, six, seven. Wow. Wow. Lots of lots of sevens. All right. You ready? Oh, oh yeah. No. Oh no. Here we go. I gotta All think. Right. Hold on. I gotta know what I'm gonna throw. Yeah. Three. I gotta make it a good one. Two. I'm ready. One. Eight. Math is hard when it's fast. Edward Stewart <laughs> is our winner. Woo yeah, Edward Stewart. Edward Stewart, contact Ryan. Hell yeah. Reach out to me on social media, dude. Get you your get your information. Uh if so the jersey we're gonna send you. If you want a rookie, we should wait until the numbers are picked. Because I'd feel bad if we sent you a jersey. <laughs> that was the wrong number. Um yeah, but yeah. if you want a different oh. jersey, that's a different number or a different player. That's cool too. Uh, but reach on out. Guys, it's been a lot of fun. Uh, thank you for hanging up with us tonight. And we will see you back here tomorrow, 11 o'clock, for rounds four through seven. J-E-T-S! In the rolling hills of northern New Jersey, there's a place where the grass is greener and where the views are nicer and where the crew works harder to make your day on the links just a little more special. Ballyone is calling. We're ready. Are you?